Implicit in every blessing of every beatitude, there is a cursing. This pattern follows an eternal law decreed in heaven. Blessings are predicated on eternal laws. Obedience to those laws brings specific blessings. Alternatively, disobedience to those same laws brings specific punishments unless there is repentance. For every blessed are, there is a woe unto. The Savior repeated four of the Beatitudes from his Sermon on the Mount in his Sermon on the Plain recorded in Luke. Unlike the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus followed these four Beatitudes with four woes. Each woe was the exact opposite of the beatitude. The poor are now rich, the hungry are full, the mourners are laughing, and those who are reproached are now praised. Woes are the inverse of beatitudes. Woes are the punishments affixed for the breaking of laws where the blessings of the Beatitudes are granted for obedience to those same laws. For each of the blessings of the seven Beatitudes in the book of Revelation is an implied penalty or woe. There is a certain urgency in the Beatitudes. There is no time to waste in making the choices presented by the explicit blessings and the implicit curses. The time is at hand and the Lord will come quickly. In the larger scope of things, we know that the Latter-day Church and the world at large will not hearken to the commandments found in the Revelation of John, nor heed its warnings. The judgments and destructions described in the apocalyptic vision will come to pass. Instead of receiving the blessings of the seven Beatitudes, the earth and its inhabitants will suffer the penalties of the three woes meted out in the anger of the Lord. <laughs> 